Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. In the previous lecture, we learned how to prove whether a given function is one to one or not. However, in this video, we are going to discuss how to find the inverse of a function. We learned earlier that a function f is one to one if an element in the domain maps to or corresponds to a distinct value in the range. The inverse of the function f is then the function that maps the distinct value in the range back to the value in the domain. So for instance, it is clear that the function f maps a which is in the domain to a distinct value b in the range. Now the function that maps b back to a is called the inverse function and it is written as f exponent negative 1. Notice that the domain of an inverse function is the range of the original function and given a function say f whose inverse is f exponent negative 1 then the inverse of this function gives the original function f now let's move ahead and solve some examples regarding the inverse function or the inverse of a function so let's say we have a function f of x which is equal to 1 plus 2x divided by x where x is not equal to 0. How do we find the inverse of this function? To find the inverse of the function f of x, we first need to replace f of x with y. So f of x, which is equal to 1 plus 2x divided by x, becomes y is equal to 1 plus 2x divided by x. Next, we interchange the positions of y and then x and make y the subject. So it's going to be x is equal to 1 plus 2y divided by y. Then we cross multiply. So x times y is xy which is equal to 1 plus 2y. So we had xy is equal to 1 plus 2y. Because we want to make y stand alone, or in other words, we want to make y the subject. We need to transpose 2y to the left hand side. So it's going to be xy minus 2y is equal to 1. And then we factor out y. So we have y on the outside and then x minus 2 inside the bracket, which is equal to 1. And then we divide both sides of the equation by x minus 2. And then we have y to be equal to 1 over x minus 2. So y which is equal to 1 over x minus 2 becomes the inverse of the function f of x. Now to confirm that the inverse of f inverse of x which is equal to 1 over x minus 2 is f of x, we need to replace f inverse of x with y. So we are going to have y to be equal to 1 over x minus 2. Using the same procedure, we are going to interchange the values of y and then x and make y the subject. So we are going to have x is equal to 1 over y minus 2 and then we cross multiply. So we have x into brackets y minus 2 is equal to 1. So we distribute x across. So x times y is xy and then x times negative 2 is negative 2x which is equal to 1. Because we want to make y stand alone, we transpose negative 2x to the right hand side. So we have xy is equal to 1 plus 2x and then we divide both sides of the equation by x and then we have y to be equal to 1 plus 2x divided by x which is f of x. So it is true that if you have a function, say f of x, whose inverse is f exponent negative 1 of x, then the inverse of this function gives the original function f of x. Now let's solve some more examples. Let's say we have a function f of x is equal to x plus 5 divided by x minus 3, where x is not equal to 3. How do we find the inverse of this particular function? 
So straight away, let's replace f of x with y. So y is equal to x plus 5 divided by x minus 3. And then we interchange the variables y and then x so that we have x is equal to y plus 5 divided by y minus 3. And then we cross multiply. So we are going to have x into brackets y minus 3 is equal to y plus 5. x times y is xy. And then x times negative 3 is negative 3x. And then it's equal to y plus 5. Because we want to make y stand alone, we can transpose y to the left hand side and then negative 3x to the right hand side. So we are going to have xy minus y is equal to 5 plus 3x. We factor out y and then we have y on the outside and x minus 1 inside the brackets is equal to 5 plus 3x. And then we divide both sides of the equation by x minus 1. And then we have y to be equal to 5 plus 3x divided by x minus 1. Now this same y is equal to the f inverse of x which is equal to 5 plus 3x divided by x minus 1. Let's take another example. What is the inverse of the function h of x is equal to x squared minus 1? To find the inverse of this function, we know that we are supposed to equate y to the function. So we have y is equal to x squared minus 1. Now the next step is to interchange the variables x and y. So we are going to have x is equal to y squared minus 1. Because we want to make y stand alone, we are going to transpose negative 1 to the left hand side. So we are going to have x plus 1 is equal to y squared. To do away with the exponents, we need to introduce square roots. So we are going to have the square root of y squared and then the square root of x plus 1. Now the squared cancels the square root and then we have the square root of x plus 1 is equal to y which is equal to h inverse of x. Let's try this together. How do we find the inverse of the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 4 divided by 3? We need to replace f of x with y. So we have y is equal to x squared minus 4 divided by 3. Now we need to interchange the variables x and y. So we are going to have x is equal to y squared minus 4 divided by 3. And then we cross multiply. So we are going to have 3x is equal to y squared minus 4. Now we can transpose negative 4 to the left hand side. So that we have 3x plus 4 is equal to y squared. And then we introduce the squared roots. And then we can do away with the exponents. So finally, y is equal to the square root of 3x plus 4. And then y is equal to the inverse of f of x. Let's solve the last example for this video. Given a function g of x, which is equal to 2x divided by 1 plus x, where x is not equal to negative 1. Let's find its inverse. Now we know that y is going to be 2x divided by 1 plus x. Now we interchange the variables x and y. So we have x is equal to 2y divided by 1 plus y. And then we cross multiply. So we have x into brackets. 1 plus y is equal to 2y. And then we distribute x across. So x times 1 is x. And then x times y is xy. Which is equal to 2y. Because we want to make y the subject, we will transpose xy to the right hand side. So we are going to have x is equal to 2y minus xy. And then we factor out y. And then we have 2 minus x 
and then we divide both sides of the equation by 2 minus x and then we have y is equal to x divided by 2 minus x and y is also the inverse of g of x which is equal to x divided by 2 minus x so that's it for this video if you like the content of this video feel free to like comment and share among friends don't forget to subscribe to receive more interesting videos hope to see you in my next video bye bye